Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guys, I'm back with another unboxing and first impressions. And this time, guys, ang i-unbox natin is yung bagong flagship phone ng Oppo. And ito yung Oppo Reno 10 times Zoom. But before we proceed to the unboxing, I would like to thank Spizy for sponsoring today's video. Yung Spizy is an app slash website that allows you to track your child's phone anywhere on the go. Disclaimer lang, this app shall be used with the aim of parental control on their children. So are you tired of your kids every time na pumupunta sila sa mga inappropriate websites? or even messaging strangers sa internet. Well, don't worry, itong Spicy app or website will help you as a parent to see everything na ginagawa nila sa mga smartphones nila. So if you're interested, I'll be putting down their links. By the way, sa mga hindi pa po nakakalam, I am giving away the Realme C2. I'll be putting down the link in the description box kapag gusto nyo mag-join sa giveaway and somewhere here. Now, going back to the phone, I'm very excited na i-unbox sa inyo to at ibigay sa inyo yung first impression ko sa Oppo Reno Take Note 10 times zoom pa pa yung Oppo Reno. Diba, nakakagutom. Parang ang sarap mag-anusal at magpalaman ng Reno. Guys, tignan nyo naman kung gano'ng ka-unique yung box ni Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. Yung usual na box ng mga mobile phone, ganito lang po. We have here the Realme C2. Ayan, ganyan siya kahaba. Same lang sila ng lapad. Actually, mas malapad lang to ng konti pero grabe ang, ang haba nito ah. Kakaiba talaga yung box ni Oppo Reno. And then, by the way, yung variant na meron ako is yung 8GB of RAM with 256GB of internal storage. Also available in 6GB of RAM. And the color that I have is yung ocean green. Meron din po siyang jet black. So, upon opening the box, of course, meron tayong another box. Ayan, ang nipis! And let's see kung ano mga kasama niya sa loob. So, we have a lot of paperworks. And we have here, of course, the phone itself. It says na meron siyang 10 times zoom. 6.6 inch OLED panoramic screen. With ultra night mode and 4,065 mAh battery. Vogue Flash Charge 3.0. But before we proceed to the phone, tignan muna natin yung mga accessories na kasama sa kanya. So, beneath the phone, we have yung kanyang free case. And take note guys, hindi siya basta-basta. Hindi siya jelly case. So, ganito po yung kasamang case ni Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. And I think ganito Ganito rin naman yung kasamang case ng um, Oppo Reno lang. And ayan, meron siyang space dito to, of course, to show off the design at the back of the Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. And then it says here, designed by Oppo. And yes, I really like the case. It's so classy. We have here a USB Type-C earphones. A USB Type-A to USB Type-C Cord. And of course, yung ating fanandot, the same ejector tool, nasa gitna po siya. And of course, yung ating yung Vogue 3.0 power brick. And actually guys, this power brick is gonna let your Oppo Reno charge up to 75% in just 30 minutes. Grabe, imagine ka palang mamadali kang mag-charge. 30 minutes ka lang mag-charge. And time to remove the plastic of the Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. Sobrang excited na ako guys. <laughs> oh my god! Ayan guys, tatanggalan natin yung plastic niya and everything and tignan nyo kung gano'ng kaganda yung ocean green. Diba? Sobrang... It looks matte in the camera pero hindi daw siya matte. And you will notice na meron siyang kulay bilog na merong color green sa gilid niya na parang pinaka-border niya. And actually, ang tawag dito ng Oppo is O-Dot. Kaya po siya nandyan sa parang pinaka-ilalim ng kanyang triple camera sa likod is para ma-avoid na magasgasan yung ating camera. Since manonotice niyo na sobrang flat niya, hindi po siya nakaangat. So yes, hindi pa nakaangat yung ating triple camera sa likod. Sobrang flat lang niya. That's why merong ganito sa gitna to avoid the camera from getting scratches. And also pala to keep the phone from being slippery. So ayun, hindi po siya para nandun para kapag nag-selfie kayo ng pag ganito makita niyo yung sarili niyo. Though, nakikita ko yung sarili ko pero sobrang liit pero hindi po yun yung purpose nun. So what is so special about this phone besides the 10 times zoom? I think yung sobrang special sa phone na to is yung pop-up camera niya nakaparehas ng shape ng shark's fin. Sa so, mga hindi pa nakakalam ko anong itsura ng shark's fin, ito po siya. And I'll be showing you the pop-up camera now. And feeling ko guys, ito na yata yung favorite ko na merong 
pop-up camera kasi sobrang unique at kakaiba talaga ng setup. The Oppo Reno 10x Zoom has 6.6 inch Full HD Plus OLED display with 93.1% screen to body ratio and it also has 1080 by 2340 pixels. It has the Android 9 Pie with ColorOS 6.0 with Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 and the unit that I have has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage storage. And lastly, for the battery, it has 4,065 mAh capacity. So, ayun guys, meron daw siyang 6.6 inch AMOLED display. And yung sa Oppo Reno, meron po siyang 6.4. So, ayun yung difference nila. Medyo maliit lang ng konti yung screen ni Oppo Reno. Pero, syempre, para mas ma-imagine nyo, bubuksan ko lang muna yung phone. Ayan guys, bubuksan ko na yung phone and sobrang ganda ng display. Full screen kong full screen. And yes, you are seeing a pretty much all screen display. And take note, it has 93.1% screen to body ratio. And I believe ito na yata yung phone na merong may pinakamataas na screen to body ratio. And what I also noticed, flat display lang po siya. And no curved edges compared to other devices na meron tayo dyan. And what I like about flat displays like this phone, meron na siyang pre-applied screen protector. So, hindi na tayo kailangan mag-worry to get um, a liquid screen protector kasi nga curved siya or yung mga kung ano-ano pang mahirap bilhin sa market. And again, OLED display na po siya, meaning mga kulay na black are really deep and the colors are really vibrant. And also, yung viewing angles niya, sobrang okay. Napakita ko sa inyo guys yung Sharks Fin pop-up camera ni Oppo Reno 10 times zoom. Whoa! For a closer look, and like other phones that we unboxed before na merong pop-up camera, meron din po siyang free fall detection. Meaning kapag nakaramdam yung phone ng pagkalaglag or ng impact, automatically magko-close yung pop-up camera niya. So you guys don't have to worry na baka mabale, masira, hindi na bumalik, mag-stock up, yung mga ganong scenario. So ayan, nakataas yung ating Sharks Fin pop-up camera. Ibabagsak natin siya. Ayan, bumalik siya. And again, it says, Dropping of the phone was smartly detected. Continue using the camera. Of course, activate. By the way, again, I repeat lang na meron po siyang triple camera setup. For the primary one, it has 48 megapixel. For the ultra wide, it has 8 megapixel. And lastly, for the telephoto, it has 13 megapixel with 10 times hybrid zoom. It lets you get 6 times optical zoom and lets you get 10 times hybrid zoom and go really far and pwede nyong gamitin up to 60 times digital zoom, diba? O diba, daig niya pa si Huawei P30 Pro na up to 50 times digital zoom. This one, 60 times. I know guys, hindi niya naman ganun ka kailangan ng 60 times digital zoom sa pang araw-araw but at least we have it here just in case na kailangan yung picture and yung moon or yung building na sobrang layo or meron kayong sinisipat-sipat na crush. Um, wag lang pong maninilip. <laughs> Which is really bad. Kaya wag yung gagawin yung hindi porket naka um, Oporino 10 times zoom na kayo. Me ride na kayong gawin yun. Anyway, the reason why I'm really impressed by this phone kasi yung camera setup niya guys, although up to 10 times, yung hybrid zoom niya, wala akong nakitang camera bump. Hindi ko alam kung paano nila pinagkasya or paano nila ginamang super flat yun. Pero yeah, I'm really impressed. And first impression with the phone guys, habang hawa ko siya, although um, full screen siya, 6.6 inch, still feels very comfortable to hold. Kahit na malaki siya guys, um, kaya ko namang mag-text in one hand compared to other phones na kailangan dalawang kamay pag nag-text. And also, yung back part pala niya, I noticed na um, gradient finish siya. And meron din siyang two-tone glass. Yung gitna po niya is glossy finish and then the rest are frosted glass. And also guys, I forgot to tell you, meron din po siyang optical and display fingerprint and meron din siyang face unlock. So, itest natin kung mabilis and accurate din siya. Guys, yung optical and display fingerprint niya sobrang bilis. Sobrang na-amaze ako. Isa na yata to sa may pinakamabilis na in display fingerprint katulad ni OnePlus 7 Pro. And again, hindi nyo kailangang i-click yung kanyang lock screen para lumabas or makita nyo yung kanyang um, pindutan mismo ng in-display fingerprint. All you have to do is stop here and then lalabas na siya. Diba? Sobrang bilis. Ulitin natin, guys. Uho!
And then also, kung bakit impressed na impressed ako sa phone na to, kahit na meron siyang high screen to body ratio, we still have stereo speakers. We have one in the earpiece and also meron din tayong isa sa may bottom firing. By the way, on the right side of the phone, you will notice na meron tayong power and lock button. And also, sa left naman, we have the volume rocker. And then sa ilalim, we have the SIM card tray. Pwede po siyang dual SIM. Pwede rin namang single SIM lang and then lalagyan nyo ng uh, micro SD card. And we have a USB-C port and the microphone and the speaker grills. Oh, and by the way guys, I forgot to tell you na yung front camera niya has 16 megapixels. So, let's see and let's try mag-selfie um, tayo kung okay ba yung kanyang selfie game and also kung okay rin ba siya for vlogging. Hey guys, I'm currently using the front video of the Oppo Reno 10x Zoom and this is how it looks like. That's it for today's video. Sana nagustuhan nyo yung ating unboxing and first impressions ni Oppo Reno 10x Zoom. Kung nabitin kayo, kung naghahanap kayo ng gaming review, I'll be doing a separate video for that para um, may full review tayo, diba? And let me know guys if you want me to compare the Oppo Reno 10x Zoom K1 Plus 7 Pro. Anyway, that's it. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more unboxing videos and of course, for a chance to win the Realme C2. Bye guys and see you on my next video.